do some practice and then you will be able to check your answers on the answer key and then once you're confident you'll be able to do this week's assignment okay next we're going to talk about sex linked inheritance so this is a different kind of inheritance than what we've been talking about and the guy who kind of is famous for this thomas hunt morgan and he studied fruit flies and you're probably thinking to yourself who would want to study those god-awful fruit flies those drosophila melanogaster there's actually a lot of really good reasons for doing that. You can uh, study them because they're easy to house. They're very small, they have a short lifespan, and they multiply very rapidly, many generations in a short amount of time. And they're easy to tell male and female apart, and they're very simple. They only have three chromosomes. They're 2N, their diploid number is 6. So what was he investigating? Well, the trait, what he was looking at, was red and white eyes in fruit flies, Drosophila. The wild type, the dominant, is the red eyes, and the recessive was the little beady white eyes. So how did he come up with this new type of inheritance? Well, he got some really weird results. And so he took the dominant trait, in this case, the dominant phenotype, that is the red eyes. So here's a female with red eyes. And he multiplied, crossed, crossbred, mated with the recessive, the white-eyed male. And as you can see, there were no white eyes in the offspring. Because again, red is dominant to white. And so the red dominant allele masked the recessive white and none of the offspring had those white eyes. So then what did he do? Okay, once again, you can do this in fruit flies, but not in people. He took some of the red-eyed female offspring, the dominant trait, and mated them from this F1 generation to make the F2, and he took some red-eyed males. So here's a red-eyed male, red-eyed female, dominant trait times dominant trait, and what happened? He got some white-eyed males but it was only the sons, only the boys, only the males. So there were nobody at all in this generation in the F1 with the white eyes. The recessive skipped a generation and it showed up again in the F2. So the grandkids were having some white eyes and we did not see that at all in our offspring generation. So he thought, well, maybe it's on the Y. I mean, if guys are getting it, right, that would make sense. But that's not true because when he did a test cross, he actually got females with white eyes. So how can that be? Remember, males are XY, females are XX. They have no Y. So how can they be getting this recessive trait if it's on the Y chromosome? Well, they can't be. So it's not on the Y. So then he thought, well, maybe it's on the X chromosome. Okay, well, how can that be then? How can an X-linked gene, X-linked inheritance occur? Well, let's think about it. A female has two Xs. One comes from mom, right, the egg at fertilization, and one comes from dad, the sperm at fertilization. What are males? Well, males are X, Y. Who are they getting their X from? That's right. They get their X from mom. They get their Y from their dad. That's what makes them a male. But their X is coming from their mom. So notice they don't have a second X chromosome. So if the female had a dominant allele on one X and a recessive on the other, the dominant would mask the recessive. She'd be fine. She'd be normal. She'd have red eyes. But if the male doesn't have a second X chromosome, if he receives the recessive allele on the X, he gets the recessive trait. So we tend to see a lot of what we call maternal inheritance here. Mom passing the trait on to her male offspring because she is passing her X chromosome on to her male offspring. Dad is giving the boy his Y so that he has that sex chromosome Y. Now, just a reminder, these are sex linked, they're X linked, they're on the X chromosome. Males cannot be heterozygous for any of these X linked traits. They either express, they get, they show, they have that dominant trait. So X big R Y, that male has red eyes. Why? Because he has that dominant allele. He doesn't have a second X chromosome like a female does that he can mask a second chromosome. If he gets a dominant allele, 
he gets the dominant trait. What about if he gets the recessive trait? How does that come about? Well, obviously it's because he receives that recessive allele from his mom. So if he's getting a recessive allele, that's what he gets. He's not got a second allele from dad. His second allele from dad is Y, not an X. He's got no way of masking this recessive. And so he gets the recessive trait. He either expresses the dominant or expresses the recessive. So can females get X-linked traits? Yeah, they sure can. But it's going to be a lot more rare for a female than a male. Why? Because here's the example. X little r, Y. Sorry, X little r, X little r. This is a white-eyed female. She gets one X little r from mom. And she gets one X little r from dad. So she has to get two copies of the recessive in order to get the sex-linked recessive. So her mom either has to be a carrier, here's the X little r, the recessive, the affected allele she's passing on to her daughter, or mom herself is going to be affected with those white eyes. And obviously dad must be affected as well because he has that recessive allele. Okay, so uh, next and hopefully last video is going to be on how to do these sex-linked questions and some notes to make sure that you are following to do well on your X-linked, your sex-linked on the X chromosome. All right, that's it for now. Be waiting for our last video in this series. Until then, take care.